Very beautiful sunset. Alexander Trusova published an impressive photo from her vacation. Vice champion of the Olympic Games Alexander Trusova was not in the Russian team for the next season. This is more of a formality than a reason for panic. The list is made up of the best skaters following the results of the last national championship. Alexander missed it due to health issues. The Russian Figure Skating Federation has already explained that it will submit to the Ministry of Sports an additional list of titled athletes who, for various reasons, did not participate in the competitions of the season. There is little doubt that Alexander Trusov will be in it. Previously, under the same conditions, Evgenia Medvedeva and Alina Zajitova got into the national team. True, neither Zajitova nor Medvedev after that went on the competitive ice. Does this mean that we can also say goodbye to Trusova as an active figure skater? About Sasha among specialists and fans there is an idea that he is a fanatic of figure skating. A sort of machine, a jump terminator, the meaning of life of which is to study quadruple jumps. I want to do something first in the world, said 13-year-old Sasha. She spoke and did, hitting the Guinness Book of Records three times for performing a quadruple toll loop, Lutz and Flip. At the same time, she almost never publicly formulated specific goals related to important tournaments. Winning the Olympics, the World Championships, the European Championships, it all seemed to her two small worries. Not to mention the Championship of Russia. Who even thinks about it? These dreams should be left to those who are not able to aim at the unique. Or she subconsciously believed. It is enough to do something first in the world, then collect it all in one program, and then not a single title will stand. The reality turned out to be more complex and unfair. The Beijing Olympics completely destroyed Chersova's image as a girl who wants only to jump. There she jumped everything she wanted, if we leave out the triple axle in the short program, but this did not bring her Olympic gold. So Sasha faced the biggest disappointment of her life. It turned out that the jumps themselves no longer warm her on the cold ice, helping her to come to training every day with a light heart. And even the departure from the group of Atari Tutbirds, reminiscent of the Olympic drama, to the comfortable environment of the group of Svetlana Sokolovskaya, did not help to reset morally and take up full-fledged training with renewed vigor. Now Sasha Trusova has a balanced and, perhaps, happy life in the universal sense of the word. She has many admirers, her beloved person is nearby, she has the opportunity to do the business that used to bring so much pleasure with taste and without the same haste. There are ice shows with the main roles, own books, dances, photo shoots and hot images. She lives by herself, drives a car, goes on vacation without her parents, and is generally independent and self-sufficient as never before. By and large, she has already proved everything to everyone. Everyone but yourself. The problem is that Russian figure skating in its current form is unlikely to satisfy her ambitions. It can offer her only internal starts, even if they are beautifully filmed by Channel 1 and paid for with high prize money. This was a pleasant incentive for many, but not for Sasha. As if a person who once saw the light of a real sun were offered to sit under a lamp for the rest of his life. The only thing that seems capable of dragging Trusova into the whirlwind of training and the regime necessary for the usual results is the opportunity to compete for real high-profile titles that she does not yet have. That is, if tomorrow Russian athletes were allowed to participate in international competitions, Trusova would fly in from Thailand on the very first flight in order to be in time for the evening training. But for now, she has the opportunity to become the champion only of the internal Grand Prix series. Two-week motivation to enter the water with renewed vigor, in which she once almost drowned. So we are waiting for the development of events with the admission of Russians to competitions in the near future, and, of course, we do not stop waiting for Sasha herself. Director General of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, FFKKR, Alexander Kogan, explained why Anna Shcherbakova and Alexander Trusova are not on the list of candidates for the Russian national team. The FFKKR Executive Committee approved the lists of the national team on April 17, after which they were submitted to the Ministry of Sports. According to the approved rules, first of all, athletes were approved in accordance with the results of the last season's competitions. In addition, the lists of the national team include athletes who for some reason, could not take part in the main competitions, they can be included in the lists by decision of the coaching council. Both Tusova and Shcherbakova were included in this list, it will be approved by the Ministry of Sports later, Tass quoted Kogan as saying. The International Skating Union, ISU, has extended the suspension of Russians and Belarusians. Russian and Belarusian athletes have been suspended from tournaments under the auspices of the ISU since March 2022. 
the ISA Council held a meeting on June 9, 11, 2023, and discussed the recommendations of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, dated March 28 for international federations, on the participation of athletes with a Russian or Belarusian passport in international competitions. The Council will continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine and its impact on the activities of the ISU, as well as the decisions and their implementation within the framework of the Olympic movement. At the same time, the ISU Communique 2469, regarding the suspension of Russian and Belarusian athletes, remains in force, the organization's official website says. Alexei Yagidin commented on the ISU decision to extend the suspension of Russian athletes. I didn't even doubt that they would make this decision. A day earlier, they reported that there was no income, that there were no new contracts, and now they are extending the suspension. Although the logic is clear the ISA wants to show how difficult it was for them to maintain our suspension against their own interests. Yes, we want to be returned, but I want to remind you that over the past year, we have clearly shown that we can cope on our own, brilliantly hold competitions. Figure skating in our country has been loved and will continue to be loved. No country can compare with us in this respect. Let's see who will pull this sport ISU or Russia, Yagudin said. Natalia Bestemyanova called for organizing alternative international tournaments in Russia. Today, the International Skating Union, ISU, extended the suspension of Russian and Belarusian athletes from tournaments under its auspices. Well, we are again waiting for a cabal at international competitions, which is no longer interesting to anyone. If I were in the position of major sports leaders, I would think about alternative competitions exactly in time for the European Championships, the Four Continents Championships, the World Championships, and see where the advertisers go. I think there will be countries that will hold international competitions with us. Remember the World Cup, it was funny, this is not a start. There are federations and organizations that hold championships. At all times, athletes have been out of politics, why arrange it now? When they, ISU, announced their financial losses yesterday, I had an inner feeling that they were doing it on purpose to get a pat on the head. Otherwise, they would not have focused on it so much, said the Olympic champion in ice dancing. Ilya Averbeck called the ISU decision to extend the suspension of Russian athletes wrong. I am very upset by this decision, it is absolutely opportunistic and erroneous, and will definitely affect the development of world figure skating. There can be no growth without competition, and Russian skaters are the headliners of world skating, Averbeck said. Everything that was said yesterday in the communique about the decline in income is nothing more than pumping money with reference to the absence of Russians. As we can see, they have no real regret that our athletes do not perform, match TV quotes Averbeck.